All right, so it's Monday morning. Uh, headed out to go mow. Let me show you guys my setup real quick that I'm taking today. I'm taking the small trailer, I'm taking the walker with the high dump, push mower, edger, weed eater, a couple gas cans. Good to go. I got four or five to do today. And I gotta go by the bank, gotta do some other things. So, uh, so yeah, we got a busy day. All right, so we're actually back at the house that you guys just seen in the last video, the really tall yard. So we're back here. I'm gonna do a normal cut on this one. And I did switch out mowers. I brought the 52 this time. Uh, I was gonna let Jesse borrow it, but he doesn't want it till tomorrow, so we brought it. As you can see it turned out pretty well uh, also as you can tell that 52 cuts really really good it's just when it gets in tall thick grass I think most mowers would clump on it struggles a little bit you have to go over it a couple times but normal lawns that just get normal growth it does excellent as I'm driving to the next property I want you guys check out this shout out oh hey this is Ryland from Premier Landscaping oh way hey, you don't want to watch me stand in a tree do you Let's go watch Top Notch Lawn Care. Yard number two. I'm crawling around, searching for higher ground. Can't see in front of me, my enemies. I've tried every possibility, ability to know if I can bleed. This is the kind of yard that the 52 struggles on a little bit. It's really, really wet and it's pretty thick with weeds. Cause I can fly, I can fly. So we got that one done. I was really surprised. The walker handled it very, very well. The grass wasn't that tall, but it was very, very wet. Uh, a lot of dew on that yard. Uh, it handled it like a champ. You know, in the backyard, I had probably about five clumps that I could see. Uh, you know, when the grass is just super, super wet, the grass will, will just stick to the bottom. And uh, every once in a while, you'll hit a bump or something and it will just fall. 
well you know not not a huge deal on this property because when i was blowing off i just kind of went and just kind of hit him with the blower and all is good so uh yeah i was really really impressed it did really well all right well this one right here is property number three for the day i'm not going to film this one but i'll show you a finished product turned out pretty good and the 52 actually striped pretty good on there uh that is i believe zoysia grass uh, i really like zoysia grass uh it just looks really good and you can mow it really short it's a grass they use on golf courses a lot i don't know too much about it but that's just what i've been told so looks really good let's go on to the next one all right so this is the house we did the cleanup at uh, a few weeks ago uh we're gonna mow it this time and one more time i think before uh, new renters come in so let's go ahead and knock it out So it is now 2.15 and I gotta hurry up. That was my last yard of the day. There was actually one more that I was supposed to do, but I can push it off till tomorrow, not a big deal. My, my schedule for tomorrow is pretty light. Uh, I think I only have two to cut now. I think I only had one before, now I have two. So, uh, not a big deal, but it's 2.15. Uh, I usually try to leave my house by 2.45 to go to my other job. And I got about 10 minute drive back home, hop in the shower, and head to the other job. So, so yeah, you know, these, these are the type of videos that I like to make for you guys. Uh, the problem with these types of videos is after a few weeks, you've seen all the properties and it just kind of gets uh, monotonous at that point. 
But these are the kind of videos I'm gonna try to do more often. I know I've kind of gotten away from it a little bit, but uh, but I, I, I love shooting these kind of day in the life videos, if you will. So hope you guys enjoy them and I'll see you on the next video.